Good men are hard to find. I totally agree with you. Good men are hard to find because good men aren't looking for you. Good men are hard to find because good men are busy working, climbing corporate ladders, chasing success, building businesses, building themselves and their future. Good men are hard to find because good men don't do nightclubs, strip joints, on dating apps, on Instagram, liking women, pictures sliding in their DMs. Good men don't find their women that way. Low value men do. Good men are just like good women. They are very selective in their personal search. They're not turned on by women with big butts, big tits, and who have the intelligence of a rock. Instagram models do not impress them. They have outgrown that phase of their life. Good men don't settle down with women who are not in alignment with their future goals. Good men do not settle with women that they can't grow with and become their best self. Because they know selecting the wrong woman, just like selecting the wrong man, can be detrimental to their success and their overall well-being. So yes, I totally agree with you. Good men are hard to find because good men are setting themselves up for a good woman to become a good husband. Be smart, day smart, choose wisely, that nation. And remember, I told you. Brilliant. Brilliant. I agree with almost everything she said. Dating apps, look, I know a lot of people feel the same way about dating apps. Me personally, I've only had good experiences, okay? I almost got married of me and someone up a dating app. If I was of different faith, I'd be married right now. But I can't I can't disagree with the things that she's saying. But what I would say though is that there are a lot of good hearted men out there who don't feel like their value is what it is. So they're not as selective because being selective isn't a trait of a good man. It's a trait of a, a smart man, a wise man, but not a good man. And I think there are good men who aren't that selective, will kind of just take what they get because they don't feel, they don't have that like internal value about them. And for me, being selective, and Kevin Samuel said this, I remember watching a stream with Kevin Samuel, he said, men need to stop going for looks. Doesn't mean you date a woman who you're not attracted to. Now for me personally, I have a very wide spectrum of what I'm attracted to. You know, slim, thick, tall, short. It, it's wide. Once you meet that threshold, it becomes all about your personality. And that's what I believe Kevin Samuels was getting at. Because you start picking women for looks, you start getting a situation where, yeah, she good looking, but she got two kids, or she got trauma, or she got bad attitude, or she got all this. Sorry, I took five guys. Somebody said I should do an Old Testament series. By the way, I read every single comment. Somebody said I should do an Old Testament series. You see, sometimes I bring out the New Testament. The New Testament, you know, it's about Jesus. It's about love. You know, it's about forgiveness. So I might pull it out when I feel like someone just, they just need to be saved. Okay? They can be saved. <sighs> But then there's other times where the Old Testament has to come out. And if you know anything about the Old Testament, okay, it's not about forgiveness, okay? It's about you're done, okay? This woman's done. Five guys in a night, you, Jesus can't save you. Jesus can't save you. You're done. Guys, I need to share with you this rule I have in dating that I've had since high school. I think it's so funny. My friends love it. So here it is. It's called the Hill Test. So the Hill Test is basically whether or not you feel a man could confidently carry you up a hill. It sounds weird. I know it, it is weird. It is weird. It's totally weird. But I think it's based on survival in my brain. Like, it's basically like, can this man take care of me? Can he protect me? I don't know why the measurement of that is a hill. I made it up in high school. But it's something I live by. And I think y'all should live by too. There are so many reasons to why dating is the way it is in 2023, 2024. Okay. But 
this is one okay the stupid things that matter to certain people a man's physical strength has nothing to do with whether he can there are bodybuilders who can't fight i was watching the el chapo documentary last night he's five foot six small five foot six guy one of the scariest human beings ever none of this matters i guess i'm too ugly i was talking to this guy it sounded almost too good to be true and i was planning on going to go see him I had a whole trip planned and then he told me that i look ugly without makeup and that i don't look like the same person and this is me without makeup i only have eyebrows and eyelashes on like a little bit of lip gloss I feel like fucking shit. I guess I'm literally on here just seeking out validation that I'm not ugly. I think that's what I'm, I think that's what I'm doing right now, just to help me feel better. It's validation you want and it's validation you will not get bombastically, drastically, and emphatically, okay? You get no validation here. But if you're anything like me, after seeing this video, I'm wondering what does she look like with makeup on? I'm a little narcissistic at times. Sometimes I talk too much about myself. I am hilarious. Some people just don't know what to do with a funny girl. That's cute. Those are some of my red flags. Follow me to see what some of my green flags are. Now there is a stark difference, let's be honest, but I'd say this. Sometimes a woman's personality can make her more or not sometimes, a woman's personality can make her more or less attractive. And I'm just gonna leave it there. Look, bro, I'm sick right now, but look, I had to make this video. First of all, I wanna say this, 18, 59 an hour, 80 hours a week. Real quick video while I go to, before I go to work. Y'all hear my kids in the background. This man basically, Say he makes sixteen twenty sixteen twenty three. He make eighteen fifty nine an hour, and he got a uh, four child support orders, two sixty eight, two thirty one, two thirty three, two fifty two. Here's why I don't feel bad for bro. He is no different than a woman who had multiple children with multiple men, and is out here complaining about being a single mom. Like what was me? You. I agree, and the only way I'd have sympathy is if. All those kids were by one woman. I don't know how child support works. I don't really know. Some of you guys will know in the comment section below. But is there a way to tell if those four kids are by... Like, is is it different? Like, say you have four kids by one woman. Is the child support different than if you had... Four? I'm guessing it's different. I'd expect you'd have to pay more if you had more kids by a different woman than if you had four kids by one woman. But why? Why would you pay more? I don't know. I don't know. This liquor got me in my zone.